Ever since I have found my senses, I have found myself away from my homeland, Afghanistan. I have heard stories from my mother that how beautiful Afghanistan is, because of which I always wanted to go to Afghanistan. After all, homeland is homeland. My mother, Mrs. Afghanistan. The Afghanistan which was peaceful. Not the one which we saw after 1979. When the Soviets occupied it. The one which was under the brutal reign of Taliban. We want our home back. I want to do something for Afghanistan and I will do it. And I urge my other Afghan refugee brothers and sisters to prepare and commit themselves. Because we have a country to develop. And only then, one day, someday, we will have a peaceful and prosperous Afghanistan. My name is Medina Ali Zoe. میرا تعلق افغانستان کابل سے ہے میرے ابو افغانستان آرمی میں تھے نجیب اللہ کے دور میں افغانستان کے حالات خراب ہونے لگے پھر طالبان نے میرے ابو کو جنگ کرنے کا کہا میرے ابو کے انکار کرنے پر وہ ہمارے دشمن بن گئے اس کے بعد میری فیملی میں ایران یا پاکستان جانے کا فیصلہ کر دیا میری امی مجھے بتاتی تھی کہ وہ بارڈر ترخم بارڈر تک کیسے آئی وہ لوگ اونٹوں میں سفر کر کے آئے ان کے پاس نہ کھانے کو کچھ تھا نہ پینے کو پھر وہ لوگ وہاں سے اسلام آباد آ گئے ان کے پاس رہنے کو مکان نہیں تھا پھر انہوں نے کسی سے بات کر کے کسی سے مشورہ کر کے ایک کمرے والا مکان کرائے پہ لے لیا کیونکہ اسلام آباد ایک مہنگا شہر تھا اسی طرح ہمارے اخراجات بھی زیادہ ہونے لگے پھر میری امی اور میرے پھپھو نے سوچا کہ وہ لوگ کڑھائی اور سدائی کا کام کر لیں گے اسی طرح ہمارے اخراجات پورے ہونے لگے جب میرا بھائی ایک مہینے کا تھا تب میرے ابو جرمنی چلے گئے وہ دو دو سال کے بعد ہم سے ملنے آتے تھے اس کے بعد انہوں نے وہ بھی چھوڑ دیا انہوں نے ہمیں سپورٹ کرنا ہی ختم کر دیا اس کے بعد جو میری بڑی بہن ہے وہ پہلے پڑھتی تھی جب ہمارے ابو نے ہمیں چھوڑ دیا تب اس نے ساتھ ساتھ ٹیوشن پڑھانی شروع کر دی اسی طرح ہماری زندگی گزرنے لگی میں نے اپنی امی کو بہت محنت کرتے ہوئے دیکھا ہے انہوں نے ہمارے لیے بہت سی قربانی دی ہے انہوں نے ہمیں تعلیم کی اہمیت کا بہت احساس دلایا اگر وہ خود پڑھی لکھی ہوتی تو اب بھی کوئی جاب کر کے ہماری مشکلیں آسان کرتی لیکن وہ خواب وہ ہم پہ پورا کرنا چاہتی ہیں At the moment, some 1.5 million registered Afghans live in Pakistan. Their homes back there have been destroyed and they are living a life of hardships in Pakistan. 
prospects for establishing themselves in their country today are poor because of ongoing violence, lack of shelter, and basic facilities. Here in Pakistan, they face problems like protection, health, and education due to shortage of finances, especially in the field of education and health. Being the Home Secretary of uh, Punjab, and thereafter being Commissioner of Lahore, I had some experience in dealing with Afghan refugees and their problem. And their number one problem is uh, directly dealing with their health and education issues. Because their literacy rate was awfully down. I mean, lower, much lower than the general literacy rate of Pakistan. Zevist have a very free policy. It is a very secular institution. It is open for all all races, gender, nationalities, and we believe in that, that uh, education is the right of every citizen. They are legally here, till such time they are here, as a host country, it is our responsibility to ensure their education and their health care. We all can pray very sincerely that there should be a peaceful Afghanistan because a peaceful Afghanistan is a key to peace to Pakistan also and to the region also. And Pakistan government is working in that direction. We as citizens of Pakistan are working in that direction. And we are very hopeful that in about next few years, we will again see a very happy, healthy, peaceful Afghanistan as a neighbor. As repatriation efforts continue, Afghan refugees need to advance their education so they will be prepared for a better life back home. A person who was roaming in the streets is now put in the school. A person who was supposed to be what we say a dropout is now in the university. And a person who was supposed to be jobless and a burden on the society is now himself feeding a family. Afghan refugees here are also human beings. They should be having the same right. And if the government of Pakistan thinks there is a burden on its uh, kitty and uh, they cannot understand what uh, pay for the tuition fee or can't allow them to, uh, to study for free, any organization that is coming with some money, some financing and some scholarships for them is really, really doing a great job. And they must really be what we say, I would say, their efforts must, must be appreciated and highly appreciated. So, this is what I have to say. We might not see a developed Afghanistan unless their youth is educated and empowered. We need to focus our efforts in educating the Afghan youth here so that Pakistan is able to send an educated youth back home who is able to positively contribute in the redevelopment and economic progress of Afghanistan. I think the biggest change that comes in any individual is of course through education. So not only that individual changes, but thanks to that individual, we see that it transforms his family and that it transcends to his community and then of course to the nation as a whole. So I'm definitely for it that uh, education can play a very vital role in the life of not only an individual but in the whole community. I think first of all refugees uh, are a neglected part of the society so they are already broken people. So once you give them an opportunity for education, it uh, gives them a sort of a refuge where they can start thinking for themselves and the dream. So uh, not only it builds their personality and changes them for good and creates positive uh, mindset and confidence. But also, yes, uh, they become valuable member of the society. And of course, once you're educated, your value addition to the economics of the, com of the community of the country uh, enhances. You can play a much bigger, vital role in the development of the country as a whole. So if we can educate refugees, nothing better than that. This need is well understood, keeping in view the fact that a substantial portion of Afghan population in Pakistan is youth.
Well, Inspired Pakistan was launched uh, back in uh, the fall of 2012 and we've been striving very hard ever since in the, in the fields of human rights in particular and uh, under the ambit of human rights in terms of education uh, as well as uh, for refugee affairs uh, within the country. Um, uh, Inspire Pakistan has been working with different uh, donor organizations and different projects um, including the Australian High Commission as well as the National Disaster Management Authority and then obviously um, uh, we started working with UNHCR uh, in, in, in 2014 on this uh, Afghan Refugees Education Scholarship Program and um, Inspire Pakistan strives absolutely very hard uh, in that sense to uh, ensure the provision uh, and access to quality uh, education at the, at the policy level as well as at the grassroots level in terms of uh, ensuring better service delivery. Well, education is a subject that has always been close to my heart uh, at an entirely personal level and also I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, we at Inspire Pakistan are working very hard in terms of the education sector. We personally believe that um, youth empowerment is something uh, without which we are unable to actually move forward. Um, because if we look at the at the Afghans in Pakistan, for example, in as much as our partnership with UNHCR is concerned, Afghans have been here for uh, over three and a half decades now, roughly, and um, uh, they've been here. They've been they've been living in Pakistan as refugees. Uh, they've been trying to go back home, but then due to one reason or another, they find themselves coming back to Pakistan. And this is this is the right time. I personally am convicted of the fact that we need to empower their youths. And, and if the youth is empowered through education, we will be able to resend educated youth back to Afghanistan, which is more likely to stay in Afghanistan. So at one end, it will enable the repatriation to be sustainable. And on the other hand, it will enable this youth to go back uh, to their country and find themselves useful in terms of um, 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 redevelopment of their country uh, to give better contribution uh, to Afghanistan. So definitely, um, the people that we have here, we are trying through the Dafi Scholarship Program to uh, provide them help in the provision of education to them so that when they go back home, uh, they are, they are, they are, they are, that's a different generation that we can resend back to Afghanistan and they find themselves in, uh, in jobs and in employment and in different positions from where they can really uh, enable uh, the redevelopment of Afghanistan, which is what we all aim for. The Albert Einstein German Academic Refugee Initiative Program DAFI is a global initiative financed by the government of Germany through UNHCR. It is a merit-based competition which provides higher education opportunities through scholarships to deserving Afghan students who are enrolled in universities of Pakistan under status of a refugee. In Pakistan, since 1992, Dafi Scholarship Program have supported approximately 1,200 students, helping them in accessing higher education with the aim of making them as a highly qualified human resources. Over the two years, we have helped UNHCR in increasing outreach of project and have focused on maintaining gender balance. The process starts with the call of applications, which is advertised through newspapers, internet and social media. Different universities and UNHCR community outreach workers also help us in dissemination of the information. Once the applications are received, a transparent shortlisting and selection process in collaboration with UNHCR begins after which agreements are signed with successful applicants. The DAFI program helps in development of Afghan students and ensure their completion of study. Inspire Pakistan not only provides scholarship but also conducts series of counseling and capacity building sessions with students which help them in their academic and professional career. In the end, I would like to state that the strongest weapon in this world is education. The change which we all aspire for can only be brought about through quality education. Therefore, we fully support and wish to expand this program for the development of Afghanistan. Now, I am a student of fashion designing at Akra University, Islamabad. Along with my academics, my degree has enabled me to show my skills in fashion industry. 
and I see myself progressing. Then now it seems my mother's dream would come true. All this is possible because of extensive support of Inspire Pakistan, UNHCR, and the people and the government of Germany under the Dofi Scholarship Program. After completing my graduation, I will be in better position to serve my family well and my country, Afghanistan. <laughs>